Hi, my name is Joe. Today we are going to talk about IP intercom. The IP intercom uses the TCP IP technology. This is the monitor from the IP intercom. From the back, we can see there's RJ45 network port, which allows us to use the Ethernet cable to connect this monitor to the switch. And then we can connect multiple IP doorbell to this switch. It's quite convenient, right? And this is the PoE switch. It not only can supply the power data, but also the power if your edge IP doorbell also support PoE. So that means you don't need to have the power source at each of the IP doorbell. But there's one limit for this kind of technology. The PoE is limited to about 300 feet. If the distance between your IP doorbell to the switch is beyond 300 feet, it will not going to work because the signal will start dropping. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the usual long distance PoE switch to supply the power and data up to 1000 feet. Now let's move to the workshop and see how it works. Here we got a system set up. This is the usual long distance PoE switch. There's no different from the regular switch. Only the port 1 and port 2 can supply usual long distance. The maximum distance for the PoE is 2500 feet. And now here we are using the just 1000 feet for testing, but we can have 2500 feet. And the monitor is being connected to the data port. And from here, we also have the cable and linking to the IP doorbell. The IP doorbell support PoE. I think you may also discover we got something like this. This is the PoE adapter, like this one. So this is why we need this PoE adapter. You see, the PoE switch can supply usual long distance up to 2,500 feet. But for this video doorbell, it's just a common video doorbell. So it cannot return the signal. We need this PoE adapter to help the video doorbell to get better signal to the switch. Okay, now let me just push the button and see how it works. Now we push and you can hear, you can see the image, the image is live, right? Now I can answer the phone. Hello, hello. Oh, that's an echo, so I'm going to turn off the voice. Now you can see the video, we got the video for you through long distance. And totally we could have two PoE ports from the, this usual long distance PoE switch. If you have set up system but it's not working, you may need to use this special short punch code to link the PoE adapter to the IP, door, IP doorbell because some of the IP doorbell didn't comply to the standard PoE. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.